Have you ever wanted to make your own game but got stuck because you don't know how to code? Well, today I'm trying out an experiment. I'm going to push AI to create a full game for this DIY console I built. No technical prompts, no paid models and not a single line of code from me. Let's see if it's possible and find the best way you can do it too. To make things more interesting, I'm going to write this game without using any game engines. For that, I'll assemble another Lilka. It's a perfect for educational projects like this, because it already has an SDK for working with screen, buttons and SD card. If you want your own copy, check out my previous video for detailed guide and see the description for a list of electronics and a link to the PCB, which you can easily order from today's sponsor PCBWay. They sent me a few PCBs and the quality is amazing. And here's the coolest part. You can order made black PCBs that really take your project's look to the next level. It's a small detail, but it makes a huge difference when you want your build to look professional and sleek. With PCBWay you get quick delivery, reliable customer service and a simple ordering process. If you're serious about building your own electronic projects, PCBWay is definitely a service worth checking out. And now let's move on to exciting AI part. I'm going to use Cursor. Like I said, I didn't spend a single cent on it. No pro trial or anything like that. Also, I roll back all settings to default, so there are no AI fine tuning involved. It's a completely free default AI tool. Since Cursor is built on top of VS Code, it includes platform IO. Let's create a new project. For the board, you should choose Lilka. I'm uploading the basic sketch from documentation to verify that the console is actually working. And that done, I'm adding the official Lilka documentation to the context and with that we are ready to our first prompt. I'm trying to explain the overall goal to AI, that it should create a game. To avoid reinventing the wheel, I'm telling it to use Lilka SDK as much as possible. For the first iteration, I just want to see if it can create a simple runner with a ball controlled by buttons. The AI started complaining about the documentation and asked for permission to use C++ for drawing graphics. In just a few iterations, which took less than one minute, it came up with some code. Without reading it, let's upload it and see what we got. And the result is actually good. I have a ball, I have a grass and I can control the ball with buttons. The jump looks smooth. And the only problem is some weird blinking. I have read the documentation and know how to fix it, but let's give our artificial friend a chance. The AI found the wrong solution in the documentation and suggested some useless approach involving tweaking colors. Ok, let's give it a shot. As expected, the screen flickering didn't go away, so I decided to try one last time, writing a prompt with a drip of intimidation. Let's see what happens. To my surprise, it completely broke the game. Ok, I gave him a hint that using the canvas should eliminate the problem, but AI complained that there are no information in documentation, and only after I gave him a direct link, it started the rewriting process. And it works. Happy with the small win, I took a break before proceeding. The overall time I spent to achieve this result was a bit less than 20 minutes. Next, I decided to bring some visual details to the game, so I asked the AI to create a character, lower the ground a bit and start the game from the left corner. The request wasn't a challenge at all, so AI handled it successfully. It was my fault that I didn't specify the size of the character, so I added another prompt, also asking for new animations. Once AI enlarged the character, I saw how bad it looked, so I asked to add some details. Then I tried to recall from memory what and face and profile mean and build the next prompt. I also asked to color the game in the Squid Game Palette. The response was promising, but let's see what I actually got. Perhaps we've seen different shows, but that was my fault too, I didn't specify that I wanted the guard costume, so I fixed that in the next prompt. And yeah, it looks like we've seen different TV shows. 
Jokes aside, the AI used the pin color from the Lilka library, so technically it was limited by my very first prompt. So I jumped into Google Images and found the actual pin color I wanted. And now it looks much better, aside from some creepy legs and the character always staring straight at the camera. But let it be. To make the game an actual game, I started adding some mechanics. First, since it should be a runner, I asked for a distance counter and word movement. I also needed some obstacles, so I asked for the boxes. Amazing, it did exactly what expected. The only issue was with the text visibility. It was a small fix, so I combined it with some stupid collision explanation. I wanted the character to jump over the box and be able to run on its surface. But if the character hits the box, it should fall. The AI provided a technically correct solution, but it wasn't playable because of the box sizes. Then I asked to lower boxes and add some debounce effects. And still it wasn't fixed, so I asked for a hack, increasing the jump height. Much better. I found some minor issues. The character can jump while standing on the box, and the distance counter doesn't work during world scrolling. To my surprise, Cursor fixed everything. At this point I had spent around one hour. The agent tab started working a bit slower, but still an amazing result for a totally free tool. I praised the AI and asked for some minor changes. I expected better visuals for boxes, but it's ok. Then I started building the next game mechanic. The idea was to have a sprint ability that increases your speed, but also cause longer falls if the character hits the box. It worked well, and I asked about stamina regeneration, and without testing it, I added a victory condition. The character should run 100 meters in 60 seconds. And I want to remind you, I hadn't checked or touched the code yet. I'm pretty sure it's a mess in terms of code quality, but the application does what's expected. Finally, I started explaining the core game mechanic. The game should have two stages – green light and red light, just like in show. Move during red light and game over. To add pressure, I decided to include a warning stage, to signal that red light is about to start. My mistake was asking for screen shaking. You can pause the video now and try to guess why that was a mistake. First of all, cursor broke the build. Second, the screen shaking was detected as a collision, so it blocked the character movement. And the final issue, the AI didn't understand the concept of stages. I tried to fix the shaking issue and explain the phases concept again and again and again, and in total I spent more than an hour just to get an acceptable result. I didn't manage to solve the shaking issue, and I replaced it with a quick warning blink. At this point, I checked the code for the first time, and honestly, realizing how impossible it would be to maintain, it made me feel like stopping the experiment. But curiosity won. I praised the AI one more time, uh, however, it doesn't really deserve it, and asked for a simple menu and leaderboard. Lilka has a dedicated menu class, so I hoped the AI would use it, but no, it created an ugly menu using raw functions. And now you probably see the last successful build, because after the menu, I asked about adding some sound effects. Lilka supports SD card, so I wanted to upload some sounds and play them during the game. Long story short, I tried to get the AI to do it by itself, but after hours of prompts and in studying different libraries suggested by Crosser, the best result I got was some weird noise. I missed the moment when it started touching other game aspects. And you may notice the face indicator UI problems. Checking the mess in the code, I had an impulse to refactor it a bit, but the best I achieved was getting the AI to split the code into chunks, which didn't actually help much. The main conclusion from the experiment. Nothing surprisingly new. AI is still a great tool for helping with routine tasks. Yes, it can handle the kind of silly requests you've seen in the video and produce a pretty good result. But you have to choose the API and libraries by yourself. And most important, don't let AI handle the architecture, because at some point it would have been easier to write it from scratch than refactor the mess. Anyway, it was a great journey and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are not familiar with Dilka, check my previous video. And thanks for watching.